Hi, I'm Ron Bailey, manager of training at Sencha. I'm here to walk you through XJS, our flagship enterprise web application software framework. To get started, we'll go to the Sencha website. where I can click on the resources tab here to find a link to examples that we have of all our components. I'm interested in the XJS examples, so I'll click on view examples from here. And I have a gallery of options for how one like to see all the examples of XJS components that we carry. I'm interested in examining what we call our kitchen sink, so I'll open that tab up. Run a kitchen sink of our classic toolkit, and to do so, I have my options for examining the catalog here that I have or the menu that I have. I have my option to examine the menu that I have here for all the components available in the classic toolkit, or I can do a search for a specific component like our row widget in a search field. So, in addition to being able to view the component of my choice in the window here and examine how it works, the look and feel of it, and the behavior presented to the end user, I also have off to the right here a details panel that's going to provide the code necessary to actually make that component work, which if I wanted to, I could copy and paste into either our search fiddle or I could choose to download the code and work with it locally on my own machine. The purpose of a row widget is to allow for every row that I have in my row of records here to have a corresponding grid of data dedicated to it. This would have to be reflected in the nature of the data behind the component, but being able to leverage that means you can have uh, deeply nested data that is structured in such a way that it makes it easily searchable according to the record that you're on. This means that the data behind the row widget component would have to have what's called an association between the data sources. So we have two models here. There's a one-to-many relationship between the nature of the data for the parent grid and the nature of the data for the child grid that would be reflected in whatever the original data source was. I hope this walkthrough has been useful to you, and I encourage you to explore more from Sencha's XJS customizable suite of feature-rich, data-driven UI components.